Diedrich, back here. Obviously, I'm sure you're disappointed with the loss, but how much of your decision to transfer to Kansas was to have an opportunity to play in games and in moments like this? It was a big decision. I mean, it's something you dream of as a kid. And um, I cherish the moment. And I, I cherish even more playing against P.J. Washington. He's like, he's like a little brother to me. And, um, it was fun playing, but like you said, you wanted to win. And, and it's not the end of the world. Though. Diedrich, what was the difference in defending Washington and defending Travis? Travis was a more back to the basket guy. He, he, he wanted to be physical, and PJ, and PJ was more finesse. I knew he loved to jab and go middle and things like that. And um, that, 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 that was the main difference in guarding those two players. Both of them are great players. Uh, Diedrich, how, how difficult was it to have two of them to deal yeah. with? Yeah, it's definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely tough uh, playing against two bids like that. You know, we, we, we played a small ball lineup and things like that, so I was alternating guard. PJ, um, Travis, and sometimes Nick, and um, so this is something you got to step up to the plate, and um, can't make any, any any excuses on, on how to play the guy there and get it done. Quentin, what did you guys do defensively to keep them without a three point make in the first half? Yeah, definitely. We just going out, going on scouting points. You know, like Kelly, he's a really good three point shooter. Tyler Harrell is a really good player, really good three point shooter. So we're trying to go over the screen, and make sure we contest them, make sure we put the ball in the court, make them make a decision for the other teammates. Anything else? Did you did, did did you feel like your competitiveness was where it needed to be team wise tonight? Uh, did. Yeah, I feel so. I mean, some things you can't teach is length and athleticism. And those guys were very athletic, and they went to the glass pretty hard. And um, our guys competed. I mean, at the end of the day, um, I'm proud of our team, but the outcome wasn't what we wanted. But go back to the drawing board and get ready for Texas. Coach's message afterwards? Um, like you said, it's not the end of the world. Um, he said he wasn't discouraged with us, but you no, know, like bonehead plays towards the end, things like that. And that's something you have to learn from going forward. Um, it's just, just that simple. Diedrich, is this one of those games where you felt like it was crowded in there for you? And they, got, they got a lot of length. It seems like they threw a lot of uh, you. They definitely threw a lot of bodies at me. Um, the times where I scored, I felt like I was one-on-one. -on -one. Um, some of the times, it was, it was more congested than others. They, 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 they did a good job one time. You know, the shot clock caught it on EJ Montgomery, and they, they shrunk the floor up, so things like that. And they got to give them credit. Um, they came a long way from early in the year, and they, and they were a very good, good defensive team. Q, you know what Diedrich can give you every night. How much do you guys need some consistent other guys to step up and score, and, and how, how important was that tonight? Yeah, definitely from like Ocha to me to Mark, you definitely got to get in there and start banging more with the big guys to get more rebounds and take some of the load off of him so he just have to exert as much energy out there in the court. We definitely going to need him for 35, maybe 40 minutes sure. a game. So we definitely got to take some pressure off him, just learn from him going into Texas to kind of have some bigger players. So we definitely got to get in there and just get some boards to take some pressure off him a little bit. Yeah.